Hello and welcome to Chasing RV Sunshine. On today's RV Life Vlog, we take you to some great free, yes, free and fun things to do around Galveston Island. Maya is playing in the Gulf of Mexico. We go to a Bucky's for the first time. We also hit up a local farmer's market and take a free ferry ride to see a historic Texas fort and play a little miniature golf. Do a historic walk with friends and don't forget to stick around to the end for the bloopers as you know we always have them. Hello, welcome to Chasing an RV Sunshine. Joel. Deb and Maya here. We are a full-time couple with a spoiled dog that has downsized, sold everything, retired, and moved to full-time RVing. We are new to the RV lifestyle and are happy to take you along for the ride with us as we feel like we are living in the book RVing for Dummies sometimes. There is nothing better than the feeling of freedom RVing brings us. We love RV travel and feel RV love every time we head to a new location and show you how we travel in our RV. <laughs> RV travel is amazing and we headed to Jamaica Beach RV Resort on Galveston Island. On today's video we take you to some great free, yes free, fun things to do around Galveston Island. And if you didn't see our last week's video where we hit up the 10 best spots for cocktails, beer, and views, we recommend checking that video out after you watch this one. We're out in Galveston, and this is the first time Maya is in the ocean. Technically, it's the Gulf of Mexico, but she is absolutely loving it. She's always been a swimming dog, and this is even better. She is having a heyday. Well, what are your thoughts? Well, beautiful day out here. Maya's loving it. Couldn't be any better. Tips for if you go to the beach with the dog, make sure, number one, bring lots of towels. Uh, right, Maya? We had to sit on towels. Yep, lots of towels. And plan to have a bath once you get back. We're getting dried off. Huh? You're supposed to be down on your bed. Not on dad's chair. You don't care? You're comfortable? What do you think's going on there? You can't stay there. You got your own bed. Oh, but dad. Another tip is to make sure that when you get home, to make sure you have water ready because they're going to be thirsty from playing in the salt water. Bucky's is a chain of gas stations that opened originally in Texas in 1982. Bucky's has developed a cult following for its clean restrooms, ample snacks, catchy gifts, and adorable beaver mascot. First time in a Bucky's. And wow, this is quite large. Um, there's so many gas pumps <laughs> that I don't know if you could ever pick your favorite, I guess. Oh, for sure. But now it's time to look at all the trinkets. <laughs> They have it, that's for sure. Pretty cool. Dr. Pepper from Bucky's. Well, first trip to Bucky's, success. The chopped brisket sandwich from Bucky's, awesome. Yeah, I got the pulled pork and it is just as good. Um, our, I'd say our overall, our first experience at a Bucky's was this two thumbs up. Awesome. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Definitely see why it's as popular as everyone says. It's definitely unique and quite large. Yeah, we did not bring our rig. Uh, <clears throat> we're in our tow vehicle. 
but I would have no problem for at least at this one bringing a rig in if needed. Yep. It did say I saw a sign that said no semis, so I don't think they allow him them here, and we don't see any. But uh, I said there were other RVs here. There's other RVs here, so definitely RV friendly and a place to stop. are trying to research and find some local um, farmers markets and we found right. one here in Galveston today. It's open every Sunday but the times do differ throughout the year. You can, it's always best to look up uh, local farm markets online and check to see if they're open. Most of them have Facebook pages. This one does have a website and you can find the exact times and location um, on that. So totally recommend checking out the local farmers markets. We did buy a whole chicken that is farm raised by a local and they've been doing it for eight years um, and we're looking forward to tasting that chicken. And everybody, every one of the vendors was super friendly. Yep, totally recommend checking out the Galveston uh, farmers market on Sunday mornings here in beautiful Galveston. Get to the top of your hood and Maya, how's your first ferry ride? Do you like it? So Maya just went on her first ferry ride. It was free. Uh, we would recommend we'll figure out what we can do over here. We're heading to for a fort and hopefully a, a lighthouse. We'll see what we can find. Hey, today we are at Fort Travis, which is on an island off of Galveston. Yep, we took the uh, free ferry ride over here, and uh, this fort was just a few minutes ride from there. I would actually recommend this, especially it is free, um, at least when we came here, and it is a great, I think, something for families to do. Um, Maya loved it as it was just an interpretive walking path all the way around the grounds, and there is play areas for kids and some stuff that they can climb on and looking so this is definitely family friendly yeah some of the signage is worn out and needs to be replaced but there's uh, signs along the way kind of telling you what's going on where you're at and the different bunkers and different uh, batteries and so forth there's also picnic tables with covers over them so you can bring a lunch and stop and eat alongside the water yeah there is camping here but we don't know much about it it looks like it's dry camping only um, and I believe you have to have a permit in order to do that from what I saw on the internet but I would say definitely this is something to do if you head over using the free ferry. I agree. Fort Travis Seashore Park is also the historic Fort Travis, a 60-acre military site with bunkers. Fort Travis was the first fort established by the Republic of Texas in 1836. Well, you really can't see much from this observation tower. Sorry, not going in that one. It is completely full of mud. <laughs> During World War I, Fort Travis garnished troops defending the port of Galveston and it approached 2,500 troops 
stationed there during World War II. In 1961, many of the local residents rode out Hurricane Carla at the fort and so did their cattle and other animals. The Bolivar Lighthouse was built by the federal government in 1852 and was later dismantled by the Confederate soldiers during the Civil War. It's currently closed and seeking funding to restore the lighthouse, so we weren't able to visit it. It's way windy up front. through yeah, they kind of look like they're slow players <laughs> We took a self-guided walking tour that was about a mile long walk and learned that Galveston has a rich evolving history of European settlements for some 200 years. During the time that pirates set their flags in the soil, waves of immigrants from Germany, Italy, and Greece made their way to the island and wealthy merchants planted some strong roots. After the 1900 great storm, Galveston's economy leaders eventually re-established the town as a popular tourist destination and which it still serves as today. Make a new friend. I did. I call him Lefty. <laughs> Today. They have it every Sunday, and it's uh, oh, it's open every Sunday. Uh, the times differ. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's open every Sunday. Ground. Place your forehead on the handle and spin around five times before your first shot. You might actually be good at that from all the softball games. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hit your putt. Plotting room back there. What do you think they're uh, plotting? Revenge. <laughs> Revenge for what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure they're not plotting for a birthday party. <laughs> do you think I needed that? Thank you to all of you that have been coming along on our journey to be chasing every sunshine. Remember, life is about moments and not things, and you can always create your own sunshine. We'll see you on the next video.